Hey there, everybody. Welcome to the first diecast review video. Uh, I figured I'd throw a little bit of spin on these videos and do a mystery series so I don't actually um, reveal the name of the car or what the car looks like for the specific video um, in the thumbnail or the title or anything like that. So um, today's mystery car is Second Wind. So uh, this car is, if you you know, if you're smart, you'll know what this car is supposed to be. Um, if if you need me to tell you, it's 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 the Mach Five from Speed Racer. Uh, so sorry, I need to pull the screen back up here. I'm probably not even getting this in the shot. So uh, yeah, this is supposed to be a uh, Mach Five from Speed Racer. Um, <clears throat> What happened was, which I have the wiki pulled up, so I'll read it to you guys. Um, up right now, actually, so, I don't have to. Uh, so <clears throat> from what it says in the wiki is that Mattel is working on a prototype um, in 1976, and I guess copyright stuff fell through, and um, uh, let's see, the, uh, the holders for Speed Racer and the mock. Yeah, so basically they, they just couldn't get the rights, I guess, for the car. So um, it, Mattel had um, <clears throat> basically altered the design and basically came up with this, and they just called it Suck It Wind. Um, so, uh, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, the car was designed by Larry Wood. Its debut series was Flying Colors. And it was produced from 1977 to 2011. Uh, this one particularly came from 19... Sorry. 1970... God damn it. I, I, I tried not to say what I just said right now. Okay. 1997. So this car is as old as me. This car is 25 years old. So um, it's pretty cool. I actually do have the uh, actual original package it came in in 1997. Uh, it's pretty cool. It says 1996 here on the box, made in India. On the back, it's got um, all these cool uh, track sets for the time or whatever. Um, but yeah, collector number 527. It's a. Um, I know this isn't a full blue card. I think they call, they call it a fade, or I, I can't remember. But it's white and then the blue. Um, but uh, yeah, pretty cool. Hopefully I'm getting this in the shot, so let's hold this up on screen again. Uh, so this is what the original package looked like. Um, I think my camera doesn't focus. I don't know why it doesn't. Um, it's kind of annoying. It seems like it only tries to focus on things that are sort of in front of it. I got this camera for like 50 bucks a while back, so I'm probably going to go get a new camera eventually. So here's some better shots of the box. Sorry, I'm trying to follow the screen that's recording me, so that way <clears throat> I'm actually getting it in there, but it's kind of hard to, you know, mirror myself, so, um, anyway, yeah, so this is a, this is a really neat looking car, um, it's funny, it doesn't actually have a steering wheel in the cockpit, it's only a, uh, a stick, you know, for shifting gears, and it's got seats, uh, window, um, What's really interesting about this car is at the bottom, there's holes where you can see the axles to the, uh, the car, um, which is really interesting. I don't know why it's like that. Um, maybe this was... Uh, well, sometimes when I see these kind of cars, I think like they have the bouncy suspension. Um, I've had one car that had that. I don't think it was a Hot Wheels casting. I think it was... Uh, different car but <clears throat> I'm not 100% sure but um yeah so yeah this is a really neat car really cool um I think the let's see let's check out the uh original so so the original one it's a main line from 1977 from what it appears well that's weird because it says up here that it debuted as a flying color series so um yeah, but it says, uh, <coughs> it says mainline right here. Um, so the original one, 
I just saw some pricing for it. This one looks like it's saying it's 52 bucks. This one's 135. 1997 one's like three dollars. I got this car. I took the price off because it was covering the, the car in the package, but it was four bucks. Yeah, it's a it's a cool looking car. Uh, when I first saw it, I was like, oh yeah, that looks like the Mach 5 from Speed Racer. I wonder if that's you know what it's supposed to be or if it's just inspired by it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'll make another one of these videos pretty soon. Uh, they're pretty easy to make, so I should be able to release these in a pretty reasonable time. So thanks for watching, guys, and uh, oh, I just got this cool shirt. Um, I think it's supposed to be the Cheetos, like, you know, font and logo and stuff, but it's just Hot Wheels, uh, which I think is pretty cool. So um, anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.